I mean, thoughts on this Soldier Boy Chris Brown fight? Do you think this is really gonna happen or no? <sighs> I, Crazy, we're still talking about yeah, it. Man. Like <laughs> it's been months man, now. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> I ain't never met motherfuckers who want to fight that just won't fight. <laughs> like, why do we have to see the shit? Like, why does the world have to see it? If you motherfuckers really want to scrap, just meet up in the hood and duke it out like real hood niggas do. Like, yeah, you know I mean, I just don't like the 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 whole the the parade and all of that shit that's surrounded by it, man. It's just unnecessary because they attaching them so they 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 you know. And I'm not gonna say that is something that's wrong with that because there's nothing wrong with being from the streets. But if you're going to portray being a hard nigga and being from the streets, then do what street niggas do. You know what I mean? And, mon and street niggas make money, and it's definitely what it's about, money. But when you hear them talk about it, it's not, you know, it's not about money. It's kind of like on some other shit. And, and I just, I just, I don't really have an interest in it. And if it, I would have more interest in it if I seen an Instagram clip of them meeting up in the alley somewhere and really duking it out. And getting this shit over with. That would interest me more than me paying seventy five dollars to see them fight in the ring. Come on, man. All come on, man. You seen Soldier Boy working out <laughs> with his fries and Listen, burgers. You seen Soldier Boy working out. <laughs> and like, a lot of motherfuckers ain't never been like. It's easy to talk that shit, man. But if you ain't never been punched in the face for real or hitting your body for real in a real scrap then, you know, you know a lot of that shit is just for publicity and all of that, man. Like, it's the, this whole game is different, Smalls. Like, you you around it. You interview a lot of people. This shit is different. Like, I seen, like, this shit is crazy to me. Like, the, the you remember the situation where the dude accused Chief Keith and them of beating him up? And, oh, yeah, or Ramsey the producer, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't know his name, but, like, he was on the joint talking about, you know, I'm... It's okay, I'm a civilian, it's not supposed to happen to me, and this, that, and the third. And, and I was seeing people commenting on a little post on Instagram saying that you flashing guns in your video. He was flashing guns in his videos and stuff. So I just went and checked out his, you know, just went and looked. And I'm like, that's confusing to mm. people. It's like, this is the thing, Smalls, in my opinion. I don't know if you're a gun owner or not, you know what I mean? I don't, you don't even need to put that out there. Right. But you don't, that's not something that you're supposed to flash. Like, I don't know if we desensitized to what hammers really do to people, but there's only one thing that you do with a gun. So if I have a gun and I say it's for self-protection, why do I need to let you know that I have it? Mm. Because it's only one reason why I would need to do that. The only one reason I would need to let you know that I have it is to kind of portray, if you do something to me, then this is how I'm going to handle it. I'm letting y'all niggas know I got a gun. I got a pistol. So therefore, if I'm flashing it on Instagram and all that, that's basically me saying, hey, Come get these problems if you want these problems. But if you're not a street nigga, what are you doing that for? What was the purpose of you letting everybody know that you got a gun? Because mm. you're going to have to shoot that motherfucker. Like, you're going to have to kill somebody with it. So it's confusing to people. You know, I'm not saying that whatever happened to Buddy, I can't speak on what happened to him. I don't know. You know what I mean? And I don't know what nobody deserved or none of that shit. But the reality is, if you flashing your guns that you say is for self-defense in any capacity, if you flashing these hammers and something happened to you, and that's not what you resort to, it confuses people. And rightfully so. You can't have, you know, be saying fuck 12, and then, that you know how hard that would be to explain in court? Mm -hmm. Like, small, literally small, that, that would be very difficult. Let's say we in court. You, you, be, you be the dude who the producer, and, and we just gonna do something real quick, small, something new for the Smalls channel. I'm Chief Keith Lawyer, all right, and you, buddy. And I got you on the stand. So I come in, Mr. Smalls, how you doing? Uh, nice day today, like your outfit. A lot of people can't see it, but you, you look good. You look very good. A uh, couple of questions, not going to keep you here long. Um, you know, we're going to get straight to it. Uh, first of all, you know my client. Uh, you, 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 you've you accused my client of uh, of doing some pretty, pretty, pretty horrible things to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you a chance to talk to me for a second. Just a couple of questions. Uh, uh, first question, uh, you're a DJ, right, Mr. Smalls? <laughs> are you a DJ? Yeah, sure. You are a DJ. Okay, so in your uh, profession, you would have to say that you are in touch with hip-hop culture, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to know the slang and all of that type of stuff to be, you know, in, involved in, in, in the, the whole hip-hop spectrum of things, correct? Sure. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. 
I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I don't listen to the music. My fucking kid loves it. But, <laughs> hey, you know, that's neither here nor there. So that's why I'm glad I have you here, so you can help me understand a few things. Okay, second question. Now that we know that you're established and you're a DJ and you understand the hip-hop culture, uh, I need you to help me out with something. Can you give me some of the slang terms used to describe police? Because there have always been slang terms, you know, one time. I know that when I did a little Google search before I came. So give me a, a couple of examples of what people in hip-hop call the police these days. Pigs. Okay, that's, that's a good one. Twelve. 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 That's very interesting. So 12 is a name used to describe police officers. Okay. All right. Third question, Mr. Smalls. Uh, do you have an Instagram? Sure. Okay. Uh, would you say that this Instagram is a direct reflection of your life? Absolutely. So this is what you want people to know about you. What you post on Instagram is a direct result of your feelings and the way that you feel about things, correct? Of course. Okay. Um, so my next question with all of that, uh, Mr. Smalls, is... We have a picture here of you on Instagram standing next to Big Soldier, uh, aka King Draco. Uh, my son told me to say that. He said, he said if I didn't, he might pull up on me with it. I don't know what he means, but anyway. In this caption uh, of you and Big Soldier, does the caption read, and I quote, uh, it's going to be a couple foul <laughs> language words used here. Fuck twelve. Is that is that correct? Is that yeah, is that what that's that says? What it says. So. Uh, is that how you feel about the people that you call to save you from my vicious client? Do you feel like, fuck the police? Is that a feeling that you that you have? Mm. Is it? Yep. You, so you feel like, fuck the police. So why do you need their assistance in this matter if, if, if that's the way you feel about the people who saved you from my client? Mm. Why is that? Very good. I mean, would you, would you say that that's not your, your opinion all the time? Just sometimes? Mm. Okay, so you would say some of the times that's a lie, right? Okay, so my question to you is, if you're willing to, how many followers do you have on your Instagram? It's just by touching. 100,000. 100,000, that's a pretty significant amount of people. Yep. So if you're willing to lie to 100,000 people for free, what would make the court believe that you're not willing to lie for millions of dollars on my client? Mm. You can't explain this shit. You can't. It's impossible. So don't be confused why people are confused at your actions calling the police. Because, you know, if you play street games, then people are going to try to hold you to street standards. That's what it is. I was also told that when it comes to Instagram, no matter how many times you post something and delete, it's never really deleted. No. Everything has got a database, man. Everything that's recorded is recorded. You ever... Like, you can tell they record. You ever go look at some, like, let's say you ever shop online, Smalls? You sure. ever go to shop online and then pull up, like, World Star on your phone and then ads for what the fuck you was just looking for yep. pop up in the window? That lets you know that you're being recorded. Your actions, your moves are being recorded. So nothing is deleted. Not in this digital age. They got a backup of everything that you say and do. So it's never gone nowhere. Whatever you post online is lives forever somewhere. Yep, it's crazy. And when you speak of guns, I mean, that's if you ever go to a gun class, they say if you ever pull out the gun, it's supposed to be used it's to supposed kill. To be, you're not supposed to play with, like, man. That's the I first rule. Exactly. In class exactly. that they instruct you on. And that's because guns kill people, man. Like, people with guns kill people. Like, I don't understand how motherfuckers play with that. Flashing, every, everything is... You know what I mean? If that's really what you bout, then be bout that. But don't play with it because people really die every day. As we sit here talking, there's somebody dying right now from being shot. That ain't nothing to play with. Don't flash guns that you ain't willing to use when it comes time to use them. Don't trick me and make me think you tough flashing your registered pistols. That's the thing I don't understand. There's nothing gangster about a registered gun. Nothing gangster about it. If I shoot you with my registered pistol, I have to stand there and wait for the police to come and tell you, I have to call the police, hey, I just shot somebody. And yeah, they right here. Yeah, come talk to me. That's the way, there's nothing gangster about that. And if you really about self-defense, then you don't have to worry about being gangster because that's not your portrayal. But if you riding around, hitting the blunt, flashing your pistol, yeah, bitch, you're rapping 21 Savage in the background and all that shit, that don't have nothing to do with being a civilian and carrying a gun for self-protection. That's gangster shit. That's what a gangster would do. 
That's somebody who handled their business like a gangster. So if something happened that's gangster-like and you in that life and you portraying anything that may confuse people, you can't understand, you know, you have to understand rather why they would come at you and say, hey, what the fuck is you calling the police for, bro? Where all the pistols at that you let us know that you had? Like, don't play with that, man. Guns ain't nothing to play with. And I don't think people also realize that even if you're in a self-defense situation and you pull your gun out and shoot somebody, it costs money to defend yourself and defend your freedom in the court of law, even if you're in the right. Exactly. And I don't think people understand that. And I don't think people understand when they purchase a gun, they should have some money for that court situation that exactly. can happen if you pull the trigger. And then people get guns and forget that you're not tough. Having a gun don't make you tough. All having a gun does is heighten your risk of having to use the motherfucker. That's it. It don't do nothing else. It don't make you tough. It don't make you a soldier. It don't make you invincible. It don't make you nothing. Because the day they made your gun, they made a million more of them. And that motherfucker on the street got one too. And the difference between you and him is he lived by his. You just supposed to have yours for self-defense. So, like, people, I don't know, man. It's just, I just think we've been so desensitized to this fake gangster shit that's going on everywhere that people don't realize that it's one thing to do something gangster. It's another thing to be a man. Like, I'm going to defend my family and all of that and take care of my family because I'm a man. And I'm supposed to do what a man does. Being a gangster, it can be defined as a lot of different things. But playing with guns and acting like you tough and flashing guns and incriminating yourself all on social media like the man ain't watching that. I, don't, I, never under, I never can and never will understand that part of the game, man. You know what I mean? I, I just, I don't know. What you want me, what are you trying to say? If you flashing a gun on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere, what you trying to let people know is I'm strapped. And that means something. Especially where I come from, where a lot of people come from. No matter what city you come from, let the motherfucker know you got a gun. That perked the attention up of a oh, Okay. Gunplay time. We like that type of shit. There's certain motherfuckers out here who really enjoy shooting pistols. And if you're not one of those people, or if you're trying to protect yourself from one of those people, the only person that should know how you handle and use and carry around your weapon is you and anybody who you're going to get to teach you how to use the motherfucker the right way. Yes, I've talked to some people where, you know, they um, are, you know, it's a Fed case or some shit like that. And, you know, they, the Feds are showing what they got on them. And, boy, they are surprised when they pull up. Instagram pictures that they thought they deleted yeah. months and years ago. Yeah. And nah, it's it don't all go nowhere, safe. man. It don't go nowhere. Like, it's incriminating, man. Could you imagine, like, a gangster, a dude who was in the streets that, you know, don't have no clue. Let's say, you know what I mean, they, they froze a gangster nigga at 86, and then they unfroze him today. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to be back frozen exactly. as quick as possible. Exactly. You know what, man? Freeze me again. These motherfuckers. Are they damn. Did, did we fuck up that bad in raising the young niggas? Did they just doing this type of shit out here now? Man, I'm about to go back in the freezer. <laughs> this shit different. This shit some different type of shit. I think they would be embarrassed to have the gangster description. Attached to the shit yeah. that you see going on, man. Because there's nothing gangster. Like... I don't understand. Like, I can never, un I don't understand niggas in the streets flashing pistols in any regard. But flashing a registered gun that's registered to you, <laughs> it's in your name. You can't do shit gangster with a gun that's in your name. <laughs> Nothing. You can't do anything that's remotely tough with a gun that's registered to you. It, I don't know, but maybe my mentality just fucked up. Now, just for the record, do you think this fight will happen? And if it does, who do you think would win? I, I'm not betting against Chris Brown. I'd have seen this motherfucker do flips in all types of environments. <laughs> I'd have seen Chris Brown flip on sand and snow, <laughs> concrete, fucking asphalt, everything. This motherfucker too athletic, you know what I mean? He looked like one of them skinny <laughs> motherfuckers that know karate and hit hard. So I don't know about King Soldier, King Draco, but I'm not betting against Chris <laughs> Brown. Hey, Chris Brown is the Tom Brady of this situation. <laughs> I don't know. Chris Brown is definitely my Tom Brady. I'm not betting against Chris in no fist fight. That motherfucker too athletic, man. You know what I mean? I done seen him do some unbelievable shit. You can't whoop a motherfucker who could take his arm, bend it behind his back, 
push it forward <laughs> and then come back. You can't even knock this nigga out. His bones don't move the same. <laughs> nah, I'm going with Chris, definitely. 